This morning we're going to walk around and look at the variety of styles in Discovery West, so grab your coffee and come along. My name is Dale Van Valkenburg. I am the land use planner that was part of the development team for Discovery West, and I'm also on the architecture review committee. One of the unique things about the architecture of Discovery West is our guild builder system. We have 19 different builders doing their own individual takes with their own designers on nine different styles that we have in our architectural review guidelines. Those include uh, craftsman style, farmhouse style, mid-century modern, Tudor, colonial revival, uh, prairie style, and a few others. Uh, also a category called other, where if the architect wants to try something a little different, they can propose uh, their own style or some other historical style, and, and then we'll review it under what they identify as the essential elements of that style. Here on uh, Skyline Ranch Road, the entry to Discovery West, there's uh, already some good examples of the variety you'll see. All different builders. The first one we see is a farmhouse. Uh, it's one of the historical styles. It's been very popular so far. Uh, a little bit further on up the street is a prairie style home and then kind of a colonial revival style. Now, some of the features you'll see with a farmhouse style are the tall narrow windows, the steep roof pitches, the large porch, uh, and kind of the simplicity, not, not a whole lot of adornment to it. They're classic and timeless. As you move on up, there's the uh, prairie style home here. Um, you can see the entry courtyard, more horizontal, way more horizontal than the, uh, the farmhouse. Groupings of windows, the transom windows. We've seen a lot of these. It's one of the more popular styles as well. And as opposed to the farmhouse style, you can see that the porch is, is not a real prominent feature on these, this style of home. Um, you know, it has a sheltered entry, but it's not a porch that you would hang out and sit on your rocking chair like you would with the farmhouse style. This one is more of a colonial revival style. You can see the grouping of columns with the little capital details. Um, you know, more traditional window formation. The trim has a little more detailing to it. And it also has a front porch, un unlike the, uh, the prairie style we just looked at. And this one is a classic example of a craftsman style home with the elevated porch, a uh, large inviting place to sit, the column bases with the stone, the decorative details on the columns, the steeply pitched roof, the exposed rafter tails, and the variety in siding, the lap siding, the one and a half story, the shingles in the top story. Uh, it's just, this one checks all the boxes. It's just a classic example of a very popular style in Discovery Quest. And then just down the street from the Craftsman, you have the mid-century modern, which uh, interestingly, historically, they kind of followed along after the Craftsman as well. Uh, very different detail-wise than the Craftsman. You can see the windows that follow the roof form, uh, kind of a minimal porch, uh, the transition of siding types uh, around the exterior, the lap, the stucco, and the panels. Uh, the courtyard in the back, the blade-shaped chimney that's a very prominent feature of the home, and minimal adornment, uh, small trim, uh, the column is very simple, um, but it's a very classic, uh, sort of a timeless design. In addition to a variety of styles, you also see a big variety in colors, and this is a pretty classic example of a very white, classic farmhouse right next to a woodland-style home in this very dark color. It's a really cool style, somewhat uh, um, derivative of the Mountain Modern Lodge style, but the same kind of detailing, the heavy timber truss, the stone, the steep roof pitch, and just the detailing, which is really fantastic on this house. I love the contrast in colors and styles as opposed to uh, a traditional neighborhood where it's all kind of builder beige. As we continue down the street, we have a craftsman next door to another mid-century modern with the windows, large windows that follow the roof form, uh, the big blade chimney, and then we come upon a, another very classic style that we've seen a lot of in Discovery West, and it's a classic prairie style home with the large front porch, the huge roof overhangs, the large columns, the grouping of casement windows, and this horizontality punctuated by that second story with also the large roof overhangs. A large prominent porch, but not the real focus. There's also a courtyard tucked around the back that's kind of a private retreat from owners. Very popular style in prior neighborhoods and it continues to be in Discovery West. 
you may wonder, why do we have architectural guidelines? To ensure a consistency in design and quality and attention to detail, uh, we review every home that comes through here. We collaborate with the designer to come up and improve the overall design. In general, I think it's a, a positive experience for those who go through it. The end result of, of all this is that you have a, a neighborhood that has a lot of variety, but a high consistency of quality and attention to detail and, and style accuracy. It has a feel much more like an established older neighborhood in Bend. It's not all cookie cutter homes built by the same builder in the same color and the same style. Here you don't know what you're gonna have, uh, a modern next to a farmhouse, next to a Tudor style. And I'd love the variety that we end up with here.